Hi there, this is Joe Herman, and welcome to my review of HP's entry-level workstation, the Z240. Recently, I reviewed HP's top-of-the-line workstation, the Z840, which is also viewable on this channel. It's the machine to get for those who seek no compromise and are looking for the highest level of power and performance. The Z240 introduced just a few months ago, however, is HP's most affordable workstation. But don't be mistaken. This robust yet compact workstation tower offers plenty of power at PC-like prices and boasts professional features found on workstations costing much more. It's a very attractive machine for those looking to get their first workstation, animation studios, artists, students, and even those stepping into VR development will find this workstation attractive. Let's start with the unboxing. The Z240 comes with a full-size keyboard, three-button mouse, and power cord. Next, I'll remove the styrofoam packing and covering of the machine. The Z240 is a stylish black tower that's 6.7 inches wide, 14.7 inches high, and 15.7 inches deep, and a starting weight of around 19 pounds. It's very expandable, yet small and light enough for one person to easily move around their studio and fit into tight or compact areas. On the front, you'll find two external 5 and a quarter inch bays. Beneath that, there's an HP Slim Super Multi DVD drive, two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone and microphone jack. Here's a smart innovation that I haven't seen before on a workstation. This front panel is a removable dust filter, which prevents dust from entering the tower, thus helping to keep the inside nice and clean. Just press on it to remove it and push it back in to replace it. The back of the machine features legacy PS2 ports, two more USB 2.0 ports, RJ45 gigabit Ethernet, two DisplayPort 1.2 outputs that you can use from the Intel Integrated HD Graphics, DVI-I port, four more USB 3.0 ports, audio in, audio out, microphone jack, as well as the DisplayPort and DVI outputs from the GPU, which we'll talk more about later. Accessing the interior of the workstation is easily done by removing the side panel with this handle. Let's move in for a closer look, starting with the CPU. The Z240 has a single 4-core 3.6 GHz Intel Xeon E3 1270V5 processor with an 8 MB cache. The processor itself has a fan mounted right on it to keep it cool. There's also a fan on the back of the machine to keep the air flowing through the system. For video, this Z240 contains an NVIDIA Quadro K2200 GPU installed into a PCIe x16 slot. As many know, NVIDIA makes some of the best video cards in the business, and the K2200 is no exception. It's got the ability to allow you to work with large, complex models thanks to its 4GB of GDDR5 memory and its 640 CUDA parallel processing cores and can power up to four 4K displays at 60Hz in 30-bit color. Rotating around to the back of the machine, we can see its DisplayPort 1.2 as well as DVI-I dual link connections. The HP Z240 also supports HP Z Turbo Drive G2 PCIe based solid state storage cards, which offer incredible transfer speeds of over 1 gigabyte per second. Here you can see a 256 gigabyte Z Turbo Drive installed into one of the workstation's PCIe slots. This Z Turbo Drive happens to contain the operating system. Z Turbo Drives currently come in 256GB, 512GB, or 1TB capacities. 
Here's the grill of the Z Turbo Drive. A great feature of the HP Z240 is the incorporation of an M.2 slot right onto the motherboard. M.2 allows you to install expansion and storage cards into your system without taking up a PCIe slot. In this M.2 slot, there is yet another 256GB Z Turbo Drive installed. Z Turbo Drives can also be put into RAID configurations for even speedier performance. The HP Z240 includes one 2.5 inch and two 3.5 inch drive bays. In this bay there's a 1TB SSD which can be used as a working driver for storage. Above the internal drive bays are two 5.25 inch external bays where you can install things like a media card reader. For memory, the HP Z240 supports a maximum of 64GB of DDR4 SD RAM. This machine has a 16GB DIMM in slots 1 and 3 for a total of 32GB of memory. Here's the 400 watt 92% efficient power supply. Down here there is this little speaker. It's a very handy thing to have built right into the Z240's chassis. In the top external bay, there's an optional handle installed that makes grabbing the Z240 and moving it around easy. For this review, I paired the Z240 tower with a Z23N HD monitor, a nice complement to the Z240, though it's not 4K. I'll review the monitor in a separate video. Let's now run Cinebench R15, which checks various performance benchmarks of the machine. We'll start with the GPU test, which measures the speed and rendering capabilities of the NVIDIA Quadro K2200 GPU. To do the test, it uses a scene which features two cars racing through some winding city streets. In the end, the white car, the one with the Maxon license plate, wins, and the black car, which has a skull and bones on its license, meets a horrible fate. Could there be a deeper meaning to all of this? The Cinebench GPU came in at 119.59 frames per second. Let's compare it to some other GPUs in its range. Not bad. In fact, it performed with flying colors compared to the other models listed. Now let's do the CPU test which measures the performance of the 4-core Xeon processor by 3D rendering a finished frame of a sample scene with features such as lights, shadows, reflections, and global illumination. Although final rendering seems to be switching over to the GPU these days, it's traditionally a function of the CPU. The Cinebench score for the CPU test was 839. Let's compare that with some other Cinebench CPU scores. We can see that it comes in faster than the 4-core i7s, even the one with the faster clock speed, but below a 6-core i7 and lower than a 12-core Xeon. That makes sense because those chips have more cores. For a 4-core processor, however, it's definitely leading the pack. To see how the Z240 compares with your current configuration, download Cinebench and run it on your machine. By the way, the Z240 also comes in a desktop model for those who prefer it to the tower design. In conclusion, I think HP's entry-level Z240 is a very smartly designed, robust and innovative workstation that offers more than enough power for lots of creative challenges, including animation, visual effects, illustrations and digital audio. It's a great machine for people just starting out and offers true workstation performance and reliability at a price even starving artists can afford. This is Joe Herman. Thank you for watching and have fun creating.